Oh. <laughs> Have you had a good year? <laughs> I've had a hell of a year. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I'm suffering from depression. Because <laughs> it doesn't show with me. <laughs> I always look like this. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't bother me. As Ephesia says, you've got to keep your chin up. She always keeps her chins up. <laughs> Makes it easier for her to shave. <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe I shouldn't talk about this, but I've got to tell somebody <laughs> Ephesia is being unfaithful to me. <laughs> I think she's found a toy boy. He's a window cleaner. I know he's a window cleaner, because I fell over his pail. <laughs> and yesterday, Ephesia had her best knickers on. <laughs> and she asked me to help her into a very tight corset. <laughs> These are telling signs. And Ephesia's a big woman, you know. Good five foot ten or eleven, but... Well, by the time I got her laced up in her tight corset, she was six feet four. <laughs> I saw them walking hand in hand in the park. Well, not exactly in hand. Ephesia was carrying them under her arms. <laughs> Even so, I'll bet he's not as good at it as me. <laughs> Cleaning the windows, I mean. <laughs> but I knew Ephesia would, would never leave me. It's just my bad luck. <laughs> Never mind, we have a new beginning ahead of us. I was reading Genesis the other day. When you think of it, God created the world. He created this and he created that. God knows what God created. <laughs> and it only took him six days with one day off in time for a cup of coffee and a sandwich. <laughs> And it took them two years to build the dome. <laughs> and it came to pass that in the beginning, lo, the heavens... Well, well, they weren't all that low. <laughs> and the earth was formless. And there was darkness. And God looked at the darkness and said, there you are, another wet night in government. <laughs> then, ever ready, he separated the light from the darkness, and the light he called day, and the dark he called night. And in the morning we had the sun, and in the night we had the evening time. <laughs> Then he looked at the waters, for there were seas everywhere in all the wrong places. So he separated the land from the sea and called the land, the land. <laughs> and the sea he called, the sea. And the bit between, he called a dross. <laughs> then, Taking unto himself a handful of stew, he created the first man in his own image, which he called Adam. But Adam did not want to be in God's image. He wanted to be like Sean Connery. <laughs> or Pierce Brosnan, or, or even Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> And Adam became lonely. So God said, worry not, Adam, I will get thee a lumber. <laughs> and God took a dod of spare rib and some, <laughs> some beef on the bone and created woman. 
which he called Eve and told them to be fruitful and multiply. Or put it another way, go on yourself. <laughs> And they lived happily ever after and populated the world. Eve became famous for her puddings. <laughs> and Adam died of exhaustion. <laughs> well, now, my friends, this, this will be my last sermon. I retired four weeks ago. It was quite moving. The congregation gathered and sang the old song, Will you know, come back again? <laughs> Although I'd never heard their version of it. <laughs> but they sang loud and long. A nice song. You'll know, come back again, will you? <laughs> Goodbye.